What's going on, peeps? It's Rath here, hanging out today, playing some Idle Heroes. I want to thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. If you like the video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. All right, guys, we're here today on the private server, but before we jump in anything, we have three new patrons to the channel. Now, I already know I'm going to butcher every one of your names, and I'm sorry. I'm bad with names. I even tried Googling some of them. Guess what? Google didn't even know, so I'm just going to guess. <laughs> I'm just going to guess at it, and it's going to be a thing. So first up, I want to thank Yarev Bo. I know that's wrong, but it's a thing. All right. Um, Christopher Knowles and Alexander Buser. Now, I probably got every single one of those names wrong, but you guys know who you are, and I want you to know that I definitely appreciate your support for the channel. It does mean a lot to me, and it definitely helps out. So, big thank you to you three. You guys are absolutely amazing. I don't talk a lot about Patreon. If you want to know about it, there's always a link in the description. Other than that, that's it for that. So anyways, what we're going to do today here on the private server is the casino events. Now, they're not the most exciting events in the world, um, but at least on the private server, they're slightly more exciting because you can actually get decent heroes from your spins. Um, even though officials come in pretty close with their repeatable casino events, it's not bad. But anyways, what we're going to do today is obviously smash through all of this <clears throat> like so. It's not a huge one, and uh, if you're playing official, you're probably wondering what the crap this is. These are not the rewards and or event that you're used to. It's because official, private, and seasonal are all separate deals. They're not the same. Okay, if you're playing official, this is not what you will see. This is for private server only. So anyways, private server, we're going to knock out all of this. Um, probably do speedy up bit to knock it out. Actually, first, we, eh, let's just go ahead and buy these out. Let's buy what I need. Um, let's just buy everything. Let's buy everything but Berea. That's going to be the Prophet Orb chest. Good stuff. I don't... Oh, that's Heart Watcher. I already got... I've got more than enough Heart Watchers for a 13 star, so don't need that. But I do want that as well. So, still got 10,000 gems left over. That's always nice. Get that knocked out of the way first. And now, we're going to go through a bit of a, a spinny deal here in the Wishing Fountain. Um, it's been changed. I guess it's a casino event. It's a wishing event now. I don't know. Whatever. I guess that's what we'll call it. Hopefully, I'll get the hero. If I do, we'll refresh we find something else I need. If we don't find something else I need, I'll, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out, I'll gym my way into finding something, I guess, I don't know, we'll see, but we're gonna go ahead and start dropping off some tin bombs here, get this knocked out, and we'll probably do speedy up bits, it is kind of boring to watch me just eight spin this thing, if find something cool, we'll obviously slow things down, talk about it for a second, and then get back to refreshing and whatnot, so, speedy up bit, here it comes. Alright peeps, we're down to the final couple of spins, I believe. I did math it earlier, I'm pretty sure my math's right, but you never really know. <laughs> Sometimes I mess up, but I think this is the last spin of the event right here. And there it is. No Blood Blade, which is a little sad, but it's not really that big a deal. I have so many heroes I have to make anyways already, that having Blood Blade on the back burner doesn't really hurt nothing. <laughs> I mean, I've got all the copies for an E3 Walter somewhere, I've got... Good, look at all the stupid Aidens, just buttloads of Aidens, Aidens for days. But yeah, I've got enough heroes to build that it's not a big deal I didn't get his copy, I'm not super stressed out about it. But let's go ahead and jump in here, grab out our jar of copy, our, what did we get that for? Was that a reward? I guess it was, I didn't even pay attention to that, whatever. <laughs> let's go ahead and snag all these out, um, boop, boop, and 
boop. There we go. <clears throat> that brings us up to 49 super. Are you kidding me? 49. We couldn't get an even 50 up in here. A sad face. But it's all right. We got so many profit orbs. I think we skipped. Was it the profit orb event that was going on when the private server couldn't get updates out? I feel like it was. Because I've got buttloads of them and it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, let's grab that out as well over here. Yay! Ranger damage already. I can deal. I can deal. What else do we get? Oh, guild coins. We can wear. We'll do that later. But now it is time to spin some super chippage. And that is the wrong button. This is the button we're looking for. I've got a segment on the wheel. This is the last Sigmund copy I need to E3 my Sigmund. However, I want more than one Sigmund. I would like to have two Sigmunds um, at E3 eventually. So, we'll see. But, uh, normally I would say you're probably better off doing these one at a time. Just in case, like I say, if it's something crazy and you do your very first one-time spin, we'll do one just like this. And say you got crazy lucky and actually pulled the Sigmund off the wheel... If you did a 10 bomb there, nine of those coins or nine of those super chips would have kind of been wasted because you got the hero on the first run. Um, so normally I would say it's probably better to spin them one at a time, but for the sake of time, we're going to do them 10 at a time. So <laughs> we're going to do all 10 if we get them. Awesome. If we don't, whatever, um, we'll get something out of here probably. There we go. Some branches, some orbages. Uh, again, if you're unofficial, your super wheel is not this super. It's actually not nearly as super. Um, so don't be surprised if you don't get any of this stuff, because you probably won't. In fact, on official, in 10 spins, you're going to get probably majority of it, monster blood and gold. That's what you're going to get, but whatever. Whatevs, this is private. We got a chance at some good stuff here, so let's just deal with it. Here we are again. No Sigmond. Last 10 bomb we can do before we go into singles. Can we snag the Sigmund? Can it be a thing? It can be a thing! <laughs> we've done it. We've done it. We've got Sigmund. So potentially E3 Sigmund build in the works. Actually, he will probably be my first E3 on this account. He's just so freaking good. I love Sigmund. God, he's so good. Um, let's go ahead and refresh a couple times. See if you can't find something else like a Blood Blade. We'll spin for Blood Blade. If we get him here, we can refresh our regular casino wheel. Not a big deal. If we don't get him here... Then we don't get him here. <laughs> Pretty simple. Um, so let's go ahead and blast through these last few that we have. And then we'll swap over to the other account. And rinse and repeat the same process. Go through the regular casino stuff. Um, blast out through that. And then jump in. Do some super chip spins. And try to get something good there. Alright? Sounds like a plan. So here we go. Last few of these things to go here. Get a decent amount of monster blood. I don't know if I have... Do I have two max mon... I think I have two maxed monsters here. Now, some people, some people will say, once you pull these orange artifact fragments, that you should actually refresh your wheel just because you get more orange artifacts that way, and it's not a bad idea, but I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and spin anyway, just in case you don't find anything else to actually spin on, and for the purpose of the video, we'll just go through it. Um, down the road, maybe I'll start swapping out wheels after that, but for now... Not that worried about it. So there we go. Only got one here off the wheel, which isn't a bad deal at 2% odds. On official, those odds, I believe, are 0.55% chance. They are a little bit skewed and not your favor, I guess would be the way to look at it. But anyways, there we go. We have a Sigmund in here somewhere. There he is. We've got a 10-star Sigmund and a Sigmund. So we can... And we got... Look at all this crap, dude. We've got five stars out the butt. We've got buttloads of the five stars. It's just, they're everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere, and it's stupid. I need to make some nine-star foods and get to enabling some stuff. Um, I can probably get an E3 unit, just... I, I almost guarantee I can do it without using any of my ten stars that I want to keep. Um, so anyways, that's this account knocked out. Um, I think we did everything, right? Everything that I wanted to do. Boop. That is finished. Didn't want Heart Watcher here, so I'm not worried about that. And we knocked out all of that. So I think we're good. We're going to go ahead and swap over to the other account now. Oh, my God, buttons. And I'll see you guys in a second. All right? All right. All right, guys. We're here on the other account. And I think I accidentally bought this chest already. Just I was like, oh, that's a good deal. And I bought it. I was like, ah, I was going to do that for the video. Whatever. Not a big deal. We're here anyways. And what we're going to start with, though, is the big important chest, like so. And actually, it's my Heart Watcher stitch looking over here. Got one there. I think I've got one in the bag, too, don't I? I feel like I do, I do. So I don't need a Heart Watcher either out of this one, so we'll just leave that Heart Watcher alone, snag out those POs, like bam, and we'll grab them Super Chips as well, because why not? Does bring us down to 2,000 gems. I'm not super worried about it. It'll be okay. Um, we got to do the same amount of spins over here. What's on our wheel? Cruise. Well, how many Cruises do I have? 
got a nine star crew, so that's not super hot. Um, we got one in the bag. We have one in the bag. So if this crew would be a potential ten star crew, not bad. Not bad. So let's go ahead and start the spins up, and I'll just do the speedy up bit like I did before. If I get him, awesome. If I don't, well, I guess we don't. <laughs> that's the thing. So here we go. Speedy up bit coming in now. Jack it up. Alright guys, so here we are, the last couple of spins coming up. I think I've got a couple more after this. I think so, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Anyways, no cruise yet. A little bit sad, but it's alright. We've got one last chance here. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal. It's not, it's not a big deal. But anyways, if you guys are wondering um, what the odds are, um, because people say it all the time, like on a like when I do like a a video on a, a private server opening, they're like, oh my god, the odds are so much higher. The only thing that's different odd-wise on the private server versus official is going to be your super casino. Everything else has the same odds. The hero to drop here is still a 0.1% chance, which is why I didn't get it. Is it a good hero? Yes, but can I get it? Same odds of getting it as you have on official. But we didn't snag him. Not a huge deal. We'll jump in here, snag out all of our other rewards, like bam, maybe, perhaps, one day could be a thing. There we go. Give me it. Give it to me. Give me those super chips. Give me that profit orb. Give me those super chips and that profit orb. So there we go. How's our orb stitch looking? We could do an orb event here. That's good. That's good. And we're actually pretty close to an heroic summon event here as well. Um, 37 super duper chips. Let's see if we can snag out a wrong button yet again. Wait a minute. I need to do that actually. Pause. It's daily quest time. Um, <laughs> let's get that done. Boom. There we go. But anyways... Over here in the Super Pushing Fountain. Ha! Huh, wouldn't you know it, it's another Sigmund. Um, because I need Sigmund on this account, too. It's only got a 9-star Sigmund right now, but I do have the two here to go ahead and make him a hot 10. I believe I have one more in the bag. I do. So this would be the... Oh, my God. Why do I keep doing that? This button. This button here! This would be the Sigmund copy I need to take this one to E3 as well. Um, so let's go ahead, drop the 10 bombs... And see if we can snag out a, a hot Sigmund over here as well. That would be nice. Double Sigmund pulls. I'd be totally okay. Totally okay with that noise. So here we go. Not quite yet. A couple more Profit Orbs coming out, though. And that's always nice. I'm totally down with Profit Orbs. We're good friends. Um, so let's do this again. Good Lord. 15 Profit Orbs. I'll take it. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not upset by that absolutely at all. That's a good deal. Um, so seven more of these to go single ways. Maybe we can snag out a Sigmund. Maybe we won't. I'm not super worried about it either way. It'd be cool. But I don't have the food over here yet anyways to take him to E3. Um, so it's not a huge deal if I don't actually get him there. You know what I'm saying? At least it's not going to happen in the immediate future anyways. So no rush. You know what I'm saying? You can't rush everything in life. Sometimes you just got to coast. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what? I got I need food anyway. We'll just wait a little bit. We'll wait here for this loading screen. There it goes. See? Waiting. It works. It's thing. So here we go, last one. Can it be the lucky chip, or can it just be another chip? We'll see. <gasps> it was just another chip. <laughs> it got close, but no cigar. There we go, though. So that was, what, 37 chips and, like, 49? It's 80, 80-something 80 chips. 
Not bad. 80 super chips. We only pulled one hero, but I'm not that worried about it. Like I said before, um, but wow, we got 30 profit orbs out of that. So <laughs> totally worth. Um, yeah, we'll definitely be able to get that going soon. But before we go, before we head out of here, just want to show you guys my Aspen Dungeon stuff. Um, so first up, boom. Hell 12. Finally made it to hell mode, and wouldn't you know it, guys, it's hell. Okay? It's absolutely difficult, but it's cool. We made it. Bought all the stuff I needed to buy already. It's thing. We are ranked... 358 in the private server, which feels nice for only having two E3 units. Those E3 units, Vesa and Cruz. Vesa does not have max tech, not even close. I didn't even use her all that much. She died very quickly. All of my run went with Karim. Um, a lot of people say Karim's not that great. On official, he'll be a little bit weaker, 100%. That's fact, because um, you don't have a certain enable that I like to use on mine. But... He's still a beast. Um, so if you guys are curious what my setup is like for my Karim when I go in the Aspen dungeon, this is it. Um, C6 stone, crit, crit, pretty much a guarantee you gotta have that on your Karim. All assassin gear, like I said, that's not bad. And the magic stone sword, some people overlook this artifact and say, oh, you need to boost crit, you need to boost attack or something in the Aspen. Remember, guys, when you're in the Aspen dungeon, okay, oops, boop, boop, boop. When you're in the Aspen dungeon, the thing you gotta remember is these right here, these potions... Um, that you get, <clears throat> those are going to give you like 20% crit chance um, and stuff like that. So you don't actually have to necessarily build a lot of crit on your artifact if you're going to get those potions anyways. Um, so that's why I always advocate running a reduced damage artifact. And in this case, reduced damage and control immunity, which is absolutely amazing. And finally, boop, the enables. I like to do the resilience. It's super great. Um, you can drop Honest Heart if you want to and put Vitality on. That extra health does come in handy. It, you, you'd be surprised how often you use these two uh, deals right here. In Guild Boss Fights in the Aspen Dungeon, they give you a lot of survivability, which you need. Um, so they're not bad. I do like to run the Honest Heart, though. Breaking Attack can help a little bit. But the big thing is Light Will. Woo, way down here. Bang. At the end of each round, increases control immune by 10%. That's a huge deal, especially when you fight nodes like Field, um, because if you guys run Assassin's the Aspen, you know how bad Field wrecks your day. Um, this helps him not wreck your day so hard, <laughs> and it's nice. Um, but I definitely like it. It's very good for your survivability versus crowd control nodes um, like Walters and such. So that's how I build my Karim. If you guys are wondering about it, now you know. You know how I made it to hell. Good luck for you guys, I guess. But anyways, that is going to be pretty much it for today. We've gone through all of our spins. We didn't grab a bunch. All we really pulled was one segment. I didn't get a single hero from my double casinos, but that's not surprising. The odds aren't very great. Uh, but whatever. We got a segment for our, uh, our main account, I guess you would say. So we can take uh, Sigmund to E3 maybe sometime this week. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, but that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please make sure smash that thumbs up button to show your support if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe as well and tell your friends about it because that definitely helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one.